I ever have a treat for you today? Make sure you stick around for this. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bilsif. How are you doing today? Today, we got something in the shop I just need to show you. Check this thing out. Hey, what year is this thing? 79. 1979 GMC C3500 one-ton gem. And it's four-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. <laughs> Check it out. Friggin' right. These things are decent. You don't see too many of them anymore, eh, bud? Only two in Canada. There you go. Two in Canada. 400 ever made with the all wheel drive. That's awesome. Gonna be doing any shagging back here? Hey, eh? check it out. So you're gonna redo the whole thing, right? Check out this under here. This is killer. Look at it. Oh, shit. hold on. I gotta get you light, Jim. Oh, God. Should have done is actually had some of the ramps or the camera underneath them just drove ahead a little bit. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> oh, check out that. Three drive oh. shafts under there. Yeah, it almost looks like a mini rear ends, eh? Yeah, two differentials. Freaking decent. Oh, what's that, a 350? 350. Fuel injected. Yep, Holly Sniper. Holly Sniper, boys. Girls, peoples. Can't beat that. That's a big way to go. Captain, <laughs> check that out. Let's take a look at her. Oh, yeah, he did. Can you see it? Probably not. Let me get you right into her. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah, he did. He even got a fuel gauge there. Freaking right, that's decent. That is pretty cool, Ron. You need one. He's gone. It goes into that. It has like a normal drive shaft, so the back is all the time, right? Nope. There's actually three centrifugal clutches, high and low speed, inside that fancy little triangle there. And then what happens is that it feels one wheel at the back, or the wheels at the back slipping. It goes by its front wheel drive, or if it needs all four, it'll go all four. It'll actually take power out of the back and put it into the front. That's awesome. That's really good. That's really cool, man. That's pretty neat. It's like a Subaru or an Audi on old school. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Don't forget to leave your comments down below if you think this is neat, because I sure do. How come it has two springs up front? Oh, it's a shock. Yeah, coil over shocks. Coil over shock with a spring. I use it. I use it what it's intended for. It's a one ton van, so I'll get to use it one ton. That's van. pretty neat, man. Very rare van. Very good shape van. Oh, I see your fuel uh, filter. That's a big one, eh? Pump and, uh, sending you the cool. That's awesome, bud. What's your channel? I haven't got my channel. I'm going to change my channel again, actually. And oh. then I'm going to start it and I'm going to do an actual video on this. Oh, well, there you and go. I'm going to go into detail on it and actually talk a little bit more on the history and pretty well what's going to go on with the van. There you go. So don't look at the dirty old bills for freaking, you know, the technical specs on this baby. I'll make sure that I'll let you know in the link where to go to see this video that he's going to post. Just to and let everybody know it is going to be after Christmas though. It won't be any time soon. <laughs> after Christmas, Jim. That's okay. I can go in and add the link to the video at any time and I can remind people of the link after. Yep. So it doesn't matter. Stay tuned for the technical specs on this van because it will be coming up on his video. <laughs> TJ's Restorations. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it again. It'll remind it won't you. be called that, but hey, it'll be called something. Friggin' right, well. But yeah, it's pretty friggin' decent. You even got a little sniper friggin' screen up there, eh? Fire see it right there? Check it out. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me come around. Give her a little action of the ignition. Watch this, Jim. Booting. Just like that. Just turn the key and away she goes. Look at that, eh? That's awesome. That's the only way to take your 350 carbureted engine to a fuel injected engine without doing much but electrical and work and running lines and hooking up and wiring and yeah, but you can turn the key so stuff. quick. It's just beautiful. That's right. It's worth every. It's worth every bit of wiring, isn't it? That's right. That's right. The convenience yeah. is nice. No box, just goes. No, nope, does everything it's supposed to do. I mean, your 1979 van it tells you everything, Jim, except for the couple that are off there. Yeah. But well, there's other screens you can get into her and really start playing with air fuel ratio maps and this is like this kind of a setup and there's guys out there that know more about this stuff than even me of course the other one but oh yeah modern tuning look at logging because there's logging and i'll do another video too even on my channel at some point with the uh, holiday sniper and we'll talk a little bit more about that's that that's awesome freaking tape deck 
<laughs> oh, All yeah. All original. All original. 64,000 like, original miles on this baby. I like the fans, to be honest with you. They're my favorite part, because you know why? They look like titties. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Nothing like some good titties, boys. Hey, what's really going on? This thing's going to be awesome when you're done today. Leave a comment down below if you want me to show you this van once it's done. Even though you'll see it on his channel, but I'll still show you. Why wouldn't I? But this is just a quick little video. I just want to show you this van real quick because I want to go home now because I'm hungry. Hopefully you're having a good day like I am. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and you know what to do for now.